Uh, Duncan's the author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story. Uh, in your view, has he flipped? Good afternoon, Alistair. Uh, look, I think there's a strong argument to say that there are some concerns about the welfare of Prince Harry right now. I think when you look at some of the um, rawness of these accusations, these are not things that he's had time to process over a number of years. Some of these revelations in the book are talking about how he's feeling almost to the day of writing it just a few weeks ago uh, when we saw the Queen's funeral. So this, this, the rawness of this memoir, I think, is something in particular that's causing a few raised eyebrows at the moment. I mean, there is a rawness to it when he's talking about feeling embarrassed and pained that uh, that he smiled when he was talking to Mourners outside Kensington Palace, uh, pushing and shoving with his brother after the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral and what have you. I mean, I don't know about bearing his soul, but this is a guy having a breakdown in front of us all and in print. Well, Harry has taken this opportunity to air... Um as it appears at the moment, the book hasn't even hit the British shelves yet until Tuesday. But it certainly feels at the moment that there's virtually no stone unturned by Harry. Every grievance, every issue, his wearing of the Nazi outfit. And even we hear overnight there's revelations about the day that he stripped and played naked billiards in a, uh, in a, in a I think it was Las Vegas hotel suite. Those famous pictures, of course, um, still ingrained in a lot of people's eyes of Prince Harry stripped naked. So. He's going everywhere and anywhere with this book. Um, but I'm not sure uh, as we start to kind of look at these revelations as a whole, rather than individuals, what would be front page stories, one after the other. I think it's beginning to get the sense that is Harry actually OK? I mean, is Harry really ready to write this kind of book and sever those links to the people who we now know because of the trailers for Tom Bradbury's show on ITV tonight? people that his father and his brother that he wants back. It's, it, it's, a, it's a very strange mix of emotions that are spewing out over what we're seeing so far, Alistair.